Hi guys. Today I will introduce a movie about robots out of love that pledge to become human. The movie is called Bicentennial Man. The story takes place in a not too distant future. Richard wanted to surprise the whole family, so he ordered a made robot. His name is Andrew. But the eldest daughter doesn't like Andrew. She even deliberately told Andrew to jump down from the second floor window. But the youngest daughter is very kind. She also shared with Andrew her favorite glass horse. But because Andrew was unsure, the glass horse fell to the ground and broke into pieces. Makes Amanda very hurt. Andrew comes home and begins researching books. He focuses on wood carving. When Amanda returned to her room, she saw the wooden horse on the bed. She is extremely excited. She said this is the best gift she has ever received. She gave Andrew her teddy bear. Richard discovered that Andrew can not only carve wood, but also can enjoy music. He felt that Andrew was a very special robot. So Richard brought Andrew to the production company to understand the situation. After learning about Andrew's specialties, Richard decided to nurture him like children in the family. Every day he gave lectures to Andrew, so that he could better understand the human world. Richard also supports Andrew's talent in wood carving. When Andrew carved wood, Amanda was beside him. As time passed, Amanda turned from a mischievous, cute little girl into a beautiful, educated young woman. Andrew is smart, bright. Not only did he gain more and more knowledge, but also became a close friend of Amanda. And the oldest sister turned into a rebellious girl. She loves a hoodlum. This made her mother very upset. When she and Richard talked about that, the large and small clocks in the house rang out. It turned out that these watches were the work of Andrew for several years. Richard decided to sell the watches and opened a bank account for Andrew. Not long after, Amanda told Andrew that her boyfriend had proposed to her. It was easy to realize she had a special affection for Andrew. But anyway, Andrew is just a robot. Time passed, Amanda had a baby. Andrew's desire to be human grew larger and larger. He wants to be free. After thinking, he decided to talk about this with Richard. In heart Richard did not wish, but he still agreed with Andrew. Andrew has the freedom, but still considers Richard as his relative. He built a small house on the beach, and started an independent life. Sixteen years later, Amanda comes to see Andrew, and says her father is not well, he wants to see Andrew. He went to Richard's side, the two of them resolving conflicts over the years. For the robot, time may be nothing. But for humans, time is life. After Richard's death, Andrew wants to search for robots like him. He began to cross a thousand miles away, going around every corner of the world. Fortunately Sun does not betray people. He went to a market in San Francisco, and saw a dancing female robot. At that time, Andrew felt that at last he was no longer alone. He follows the female robot to a warehouse. After doing research, he learned that the robot's name was Tina. Tina has a sex chip added, but has no intelligence. And the owner of that robot is Rupert. He's working on improving robots. When Andrew saw the human parts Rupert invented, he decided to help Rupert develop this innovative technique. Under Rupert's help, Andrew has an outward human appearance. He's excited to return to Richard's home. Andrew saw Amanda playing the piano. As he was confused as to why Amanda was getting younger and younger, a white-haired old woman walked over. It turned out that the person playing the piano was Amanda's granddaughter, Portia. Amanda is now more than 50 years old. Time does not let anyone loose. Before Amanda died, she still held the wooden horse that Andrew gave her in her hand. Andrew witnessed the passing of family members was very painful. But he could not shed tears. Maybe Andrew liked Amanda too much. So slowly he found out that he was in love with Portia, the granddaughter exactly like Amanda. Portia also has special feelings for Andrew. Even though the two are happy together, Andrew is still just a robot in human form. This left Portia in no way receptive. Wanting to be with Portia, Andrew, and Rupert invented the central nervous system and installed it in Andrew's body. Help Andrew look more human. Andrew was pleased to find Portia. But Portia was about to get engaged, Rupert discovered now that Andrew was jealous. So he decided to transform Andrew into a real man. After successful improvement, Andrew boldly confessed to Portia. Finally Portia was shaken. The two live a happy life. But Andrew still has no human recognition. So he filed a request in court. Hope the law can accept him as a real person. But the court used the reason Andrew is not old forever to refuse his offer. Ten years passed, Portia was 50 years old, but Andrew remained unchanged. Andrew wanted to be able to be with Portia, so he asked Rupert to pump a large amount of blood into his body. They even set a downtime. He stood in court again. Andrew is an old man with pale hair now. 
The judge listened to Andrew's request, decided to think for a few days. Andrew and Portia were about to leave this world. Finally, the court admitted that Andrew was a real person. At this point, Andrew had passed away peacefully. Then, Portia also pulled out the tube with Andrew flying to heaven. The movie here is the end. The robot Andrew can inherently be immortal, but he chooses a limited life. Maybe for him, everlasting youth is a kind of punishment. He witnessed the passing of everyone in his family and felt extremely lonely. Thanks for watching, bye bye.